Hey everyone, I'm Shelby Granath here in the BJCC Arena in Birmingham, Alabama, where the Florida Gymnastics team just won their second straight national championship. And for the first time in NCAA gymnastics history, the Gators were not the only champions at the end of the night. Oklahoma finished with the same score as Florida. And since there's no tiebreaker, both teams were named champions. Here's a look at all the highlights from the meet, plus post-meet interviews with Rhonda Fain, Bridget Sloan, and Bridgie Coquato. Wow, I mean, I still don't even know where to start because the evening was just so, um, it was so amazing. Speaking just for our team, I was so proud of the way they performed from the very beginning to the very end. And they just competed with so much passion and energy and um, just all in for everybody on the team. We we're in a dream. We we're literally out there doing what we love, doing what we know, doing what we do best. And the results were perfect. It was an incredible experience um, for this team to be able to, you know, um, to repeat the national championship. Um, it was just so surreal last year to win and then to be able to repeat this year, um, still kind of in a fog about it. Personally, I think a tie is one of the best ways to do it because not only did, you know, we get this incredible score, but there's no reason to break a tie when both teams did phenomenal. I mean, that's like saying, oh, no, you're not quite as good as them. We like them better. I think, honestly, a tiebreaker it kind of ruins, ruins that feeling of being accomplished. It's amazing to go up there and stand, you know, behind the first place national champion team banner and cheer with, like, a whole other team by next to you, and you are, you're all chucking up your ones and holding the trophies and screaming, and it just makes it that much more fun. my favorite event but beam sometimes gets the best of me and tonight I didn't I honestly had a totally different mindset I went up on that beam and I said you know what I can do this it wasn't okay folks on this folks on this do this this it was I'm gonna do this there was there was no way I was coming off that beam no matter what was going on in the crowd what was going on around me it was me and the beam and I wanted to own the beam and hopefully I did. The main thing was that, I mean, for us, we were just focusing on our floor routines because we knew that it was an incredibly tight competition. I knew when Bridgie was going up that she really had to just knock it out of the park and hit an amazing routine. I wouldn't say it was like dealing with pressure, it's more of going out there and doing everything for the team and the Gator Nation and knowing that, you know, in the gym you've practiced so many routines and I just think it's an honor to be able to, I started out the meet for the Gators and then end up, end the meet for the Gators and I think that was pretty cool. Today with Floor being our last event and knowing that that score needed to count in order to um, when it's a national championship, it was even crazier that you can't describe. And just overall, I'm really happy with both those floor teams because I was really happy to do it for the Gator Nation and everybody who supports us. She's all right. And I had no idea when she finished. I mean, I had zero idea. And I turned and I just told the girls, you know what? Whatever the finish is, I don't care. You guys can give your hearts out, and I'm so proud of you. And then they turn around and Adrian's like, I think we tied. This is amazing. And I'm like, what do we do? What's the tie break? I don't know. I've never been in this situation before. And so um, it's really hard to describe the feelings when it's going so fast and you're not focusing on your opponent. So, I mean, it was, it was crazy. This was hands down one of the most incredible nights of my life. You know, I thought it was the best night last year when we won our first title, but this night, tying, like, it just, there aren't really words to describe the emotions that go through, but I think tonight will definitely be in my top five.
five best <laughs> moments of my life. Um, hopefully the list will just get bigger and bigger. Uh, but I mean, it's it's been an incredible ride. I mean, I absolutely love college gymnastics, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't want it any other way. Now the individual event championships are tomorrow, and you can follow all the action beginning at 3 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN3. Check back to GatorZone.com for more highlights from this exciting night. For Gator Vision from Birmingham, Alabama, I'm Shelby Grenath.